Good morning everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. For me, it is Sunday today, the day I'm editing, the day this video is going live. We will cut to Monday of this last week, this week. We'll cut to Monday in a minute, but before we go to Monday, I wanted to say a couple of things. Firstly, um, brace yourself for the state of me in the first clip of Monday. I just look so rough, my lips were so so horrifically bruised and swollen i didn't really realize how bad they were until i was editing back the vlog and i'm like oh my god brace yourself for that we're all good now they're looking fab also the mugs are restocking today so you can now purchase the full collection including the mug of positivity as well as the mug of positivity by itself so loads of you have been asking me if i'm going to restock when i'm going to restock and they are finally here they are finally restocked i have limited numbers i don't know whether i'll do another restock in the future i'm pretty sure this is going to be it so if you want to pick up a mug of positivity make sure you do i love these mugs so much i'm genuinely so proud of them like i just think that they're really cool <laughs> if i can say that yeah they are linked down below for you guys if you'd like to pick one up definitely do i mean i think they're great but no pressure no pressure they are back in stock so i thought i would just jump in and let you guys know that and yeah let's get on with the rest of the vlog good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel it is monday it's a new weekly vlog and i hope you're so well we are in cornwall I'm not in my usual setup. As you saw last week, we got here on Friday. We're here until Friday. Most of this week, we'll be vlogging in Cornwall, so you'll hopefully see some pretty things. <laughs> I'm gonna show you everything I eat. Here's a lip update. If you missed last week's vlog, I got my lips topped up last week, and they've been pretty brutal. There is so much bruising. Usually, the following day, you literally can't tell. Like, I never normally bruise or really swell that much. I swell in the evening of the the day and then the next day i'm fine but um this way this time around i am really bruised and really swollen it's not the best look today is a very exciting day because tim and i are actually going to go and do our longest run we've done yet so the furthest i've ever run is 12 kilometers and that was a few weeks ago if you've been with me for the past year you will know that last year tim and i went and ran what's called the camel trail in cornwall and it's basically a straight line that people cycle up and down and we decided to run it last year but we only ran half of it so we did 8k so today we are going to do the whole thing and that is going to be 16 kilometers which is by far my furthest run um nearly a whole 5k on top of the furthest i've ever gone i'm not gonna lie i'm very sleepy this morning it's no secret that i'm a bit tired at the moment if you saw last week's vlog um thank you for being so lovely by the way on last week's vlog i've taken into consideration everything you've said and i'm gonna try and take it steady this week and just not panic too badly but hopefully i managed to get one video up for you guys this week and then i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the week yeah i'm quite tired today so we'll see what my time is like we'll see how we do but the goal is just to run it get it done i think it'll be a really nice day and then we're gonna go to padstow we're running to padstow and we're gonna sit and dog watch for a couple of hours <laughs> which is mine and jim's favorite thing to do i'm not gonna take my camera i'll try and maybe film a few clips on my phone for you because obviously i don't want to run with a camera we're about to head off i'm just gonna get my running gear on and we're gonna go so i'm sorry i can't take you on the first day but um I'll see you when we get back and I'll try and film some clips on my phone. And my Fitbit wasn't broken. Um, it came back to life. I just plugged in overnight and it came back to life. So I can also track it. Hooray. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Furthest run yet. <laughs> I'm not feeling particularly up for it. We didn't eat any carbs yesterday. We can do this. We can do this. So I can hold you in my arms. Try to get ahead. Oh yeah. Work it. We are over a third of the way through. How are you feeling? 
I feel fine. Lungs are fine. Breathing is normal. I can talk the whole time. Um, my hip, my right hip, normally starts to hurt around 8k. Until my heart gives in. I'm about to start my 10th mile and I'm still going. And I feel all right. My legs are like concrete, I'm dragging them, but my, my breathing's pretty fine actually. I feel really good. I'm just so sore and achy and I've lost Tim, but he's doing really well. It's not mine, damn it. I'm doing damn fine. But no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is five to four in the afternoon. The run took us an hour and 51 minutes to do just over 10 miles. We just had a bath because everything was sore. Tim's quite burnt. It went really well. I'm very happy with how well we did, but we are absolutely destroyed. Are these the clothes you're putting on? You were resting on Tim's new outfit. We are gonna watch a film now and we're meant to be going out for dinner later. We'll play that by ear. Do you want to go out for dinner? Yeah, I think I'll be right by then. Okay, we're nice going out for thing. dinner tonight. As you can tell, I can barely... I took it out of me. Good evening, we just got home from dinner and I had the biggest bowl of prawn and crawn like Prawn? Prawn and crawn. Prawn and crab linguine. It was so good. I thought I'd show you what I wore. My vintage jacket, just a nude bodysuit, and my white cord trousers. Nothing exciting. It is time for bed, and I cannot wait. Morning everyone, it's Tuesday and today we are heading to St. Ives. We're gonna spend the day there. I think we're gonna go to the Tate and also go get some burgers sit by the sea and just have a nice a nice a nice chilled day tim and i are both very tired and very sore this morning so i'm not really in the mood to do anything crazy so let's just see what happens come along with us and i'll show you some nice things it's like herding cats trying to get everyone to leave Tim just had most of our milkshake because I, it was okay. On a scale of one to ten. You just ten, wanted to try. I wanted to try it. Taster. I wish I could just have really loads, like a buffet of dessert, like loads of really small desserts so I can try everything because I don't like not knowing what things taste like when they sound really good. But also I can't eat the whole thing all the time. So that's why Tim's helpful. He has a little bit of it and then I have the rest. Let's go see some art and then I might get a donut and make Tim have the other half. <laughs> Shop. We got peppermint dark chocolate, uh, peanut butter, butter. So mine are all at the bottom. Angel delight, and and then marzipan, which looked the same as Tim's peppermint one, so I got confused. But we just you just missed uh, us accusing mm. the. <laughs> I love marzipan. Right, let's go. Give me the peppermint. Tim just told me I'm not allowed to get a donut. Yep. Right. Yep. Cold, hard facts. Three different donuts. Is that too much to ask? Like not Cornish pasta. Like 
ones are like satchels. Tim's a pasty snob as well. When you've been going to Cornwall every year since you were conceived, you become a, <laughs> a pasty snob. Yeah, yeah. I have the right. Yeah, so can you could you pull over and get the information that Christoph's about to post on the group? Hi guys. <laughs> we are uh, currently pulled over on an A road because we ran out of petrol. Uh, I've actually never been in a car that's run out of petrol before. So this is a fun first time. <laughs> and now we're just waiting for Tim's parents to come and rescue us with petrol from the petrol station. But it's all good, everyone's alive. It was Be well. Beaver's fault. It was <laughs> Beaver's fault. It wasn't the driver's fault for any second. But uh, yeah, that's our update. We ran out of petrol on an A road. So we'll let you know how it goes. Problem solved. Fingers crossed. Whoa. Yay! <laughs> Evening guys, we've been playing Beat Saber as you can probably tell by my face. Um, we managed to get home safe and sound. And then I made dinner. We had pizzas, nothing special. But I made a salad. I didn't actually film the salad, I don't think. But it was a chicken salad with nuts and like grains, rocket, spinach broccoli, chicken, and cashew nuts, and it was really good. Everyone's gone to bed, but me and Tim are having a little VR session. Tomorrow we're just gonna chill out. I'm gonna do a bit of work. I'm gonna edit a video um, for an ad for Instagram, um, and just have a really slow day. And then we're going for dinner at the Rick Stein restaurant tomorrow, um, which will be nice in Padstow on Friday. We're driving home early Friday morning. Um, I'm having a barbecue at my house on Friday night with all my friends. So uh, we'll see how this goes. We need to go and get all of the stuff on the way home. So we'll take you with us because it could be a bit stressful. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's when it's Wednesday. Tim and I are here. Hello Timmy. Morning. Tim and I have decided to have a very relaxed day today. We're pretty pooped, to be honest. I had a lie-in this morning. I'm sure you'll be very pleased to know. Um what time did I get out of bed? Nine. Yeah, you did. Big lion. I don't remember the last time I woke up past eight eight. I clearly needed the sleep because I do feel much better. Because we went to bed quite early as well my fitbit will tell me how much of sleep i got last night eight hours eight hours of sleep most people are like yes that is the average <laughs> amount of sleep you're supposed to have that was wowie that's great i've just edited an instagram video and a story um for a brand because i had two ads that i had to edit um i just want to say i've been reading your comments on last week's vlog thank you very very much for being so lovely um everyone's like telling me to have for the holiday and not to do any work but um which i appreciate but i was always gonna vlog what what's wrong <laughs> what <laughs> this pizza sorry sorry no it's fine this gone. pizza place looks so nice is it closed it's closed on wednesday <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> however will you go on to <laughs> I'm so annoyed. What was I going to say? Sorry. <laughs> That's genuine anger coming from Tim. It looks so nice. I was always going to vlog because I'm not going to skip a weekly vlog because the weekly vlog I really love. There were two ads that I wanted to edit before I left for this trip, which was part of the reason I was so stressed. It wasn't even about like my two videos a week or whatever. It was about these two um, contra contracted ads which i had to finish which i didn't get done which i i do need to do while i'm here so extra work like videos and stuff i'm taking the week off i've got a few brands that i have like a long-term contract with which who, who i love estrid bondi boost and spotlight whitening like i love that they're three brands which i absolutely adore are so great to work with that I just continuously work with because I use them basically every day anyway it's really easy for me to make content about it I'm just catching up on Lucy Flight's latest video chilling out baby this house only has teeny tiny mugs I know that to most people that is a sufficient amount of tea but to me it is not so every time Tim makes me a tea he makes me two teas they're both for me if you're someone who has mugs this size in your house 
Then head on down to Emily's mugs. We got three mugs. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. That the end of the bit? Okay. That's the whole thing. Good. A really developed meme there. The mugs actually may be restocked by the time this vlog goes up. I should probably talk about that. The link down below. <laughs> We're going to get some lunch. This is my outfit of the day. Not very exciting. I've tried to put some effort into what I've been wearing, but today, no. We're going out for like a nicer dinner tonight, so I might wear a dress. Whoa. But I'm really hungry. Actually, borderline hangry at this point, so I'm ready for some food. <laughs> Have a bite of mine. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good evening. It is now actually getting quite late. We are going for dinner in just under an hour, so I've just popped in to the bedroom to come and do my makeup really quick. Um, I've just washed my fringe. This is life now. I am such like a lazy hair person that I often just wash my hair like once a week. But when you've got a fringe, it's much harder to do that, especially when you work out a lot. So I literally just wash the fringe. The rest is super greasy and filled with dry shampoo, but the fringe, it's harder to, it's harder to hide. It's harder to hide. But yeah, we're going to the Rick Stein restaurant tonight, which should be really nice. I'm gonna get me a dessert. I've already eaten French toast today. I had this massive hot chocolate with whipped cream and marshmallows, and it was amazing. Um, this week I've eaten so much good food and I'm gonna continue to do so until I go home. That's the plan for this evening. I just posted the picture of um, this, this picture here. Do -do 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 -do. If you've not seen it on Instagram yet, go check it out. And someone just got very offended that I used the word bangs instead of fringe. It just sounded better in the caption. But I just find it so weird when people pull you up on weird shit like that. Leave me alone, man. But I'm glad they chose to spend their energy today on that because I'm sure all of the things you could spend your energy on, I'm sure they budgeted well to use that little bit of energy on that comment. Oh, focus on me. Good evening. We are heading to Rick Stein. I'm wearing a little dress, a little dress situation, which I never do. Thought I'd dress up for the occasion. I'm gonna get myself some dessert. Very excited about it. Boot on that dream bike. <laughs> Fill your boots. <laughs> well done. The streets of Padstow are so quiet. With the highly recorded broth and the yellow bean sauce on the side. Okay. I'm gonna go for this. That's the. I don't know. I'm just making this up. Oh. Thank you. I'm so full. Big spider. Ew. There's a monster in our midst. We won't focus on it, it's too horrific. There it is. Jack, get the get the monster. Get the monster, Jack. Good morning, everyone. It is our last full day today, and we're heading to Wade Bridge. Just me, Tim, his brother, and his brother's girlfriend. And we're gonna go and do some pottery painting, which should be really fun. Tim and I actually did this not too long ago, and we had such a nice time, because Tim isn't. I don't know what I want to paint, but uh, we will find out and just go for a stroll maybe around some shops and just have a lovely day. Let's get this show on the road. We're in Wade Bridge and we've made our way into a vintage shop and there's some really cool stuff. I love antique shops. They're my favorite. Mm -hmm. I wish we had more like this in mm -hmm. our town. Oh. oh, look at these. These are so, these are amazing to him. Oh my god. Oh my god. 550 for the pair. They're amazing. Look at this old wardrobe. Whoa. That's like proper line the witch. Oh wow, look at this. This sofa is a bit of me. That's beautiful. Oh my god. I wish I could take it all home in your car. That massive chest. You like the chest? Mm. Teeny tiny table. Here's my outfit of the day, by the way, guys. If you're wondering. <laughs> Hello, pretty lady. I like this as well. 
very cool. This is like a treasure chest for me. finished painting our pottery and we went to a place called Kiln Craft in Wadebridge so if you're in the area and you want to go do some pottery or painting some pottery then eh, sorry there's a wasp then uh, that's the place to go and I painted a nourish bowl and I'm very excited about it and we'll get it in a week so I'll show it to you guys in next week's vlog when it arrives we are binge watching attack on titan in between now and dinner we're on the final season we're like halfway through the final season i think so it's, it's not the final it's the most current. recent season yeah. it's very good we love yeah. it recommend it for anyone a lot of people don't like anime you are one of those people and i'd say you like it it now. took me like uh, i'd say it took me about five episodes to get into it and now I'm obsessed, like I actually love it so much. And it's good because it's like 20 minute episodes, so it's perfect for when you're like watching dinner or something. Watching dinner? Eating, eating dinner. And also, I just am uploading tonight's video. So hopefully you guys got a video on Thursday, which I'm happy about because I was, as you know, last week quite anxious about it. But I managed to hopefully get one video up for you guys this week, so. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then we're gonna go to the Cracking Crab in Polseth and get some food. I've eaten so much food. I'm excited to get back into my routine. I feel very like, I feel stodgy. <laughs> the holidays are all about. Anyway, Attack on Titan time. Ow. <laughs> it looks, look at this line. What is that line in the clouds? It's so, it's really strong. Dinner time! Dinner time! Dinner time! Dinner time! Hey, a main. We're packed and we're getting out of here morning everyone we're driving home and as you know tonight we are having a barbecue and i think there's 11 of us so tim and i have just pulled up in a local farm shop in cornwall to buy some frozen meat which <laughs> we can have kind of defrosting in the car on the four five hour drive home let's go pick up some barbecue supplies we secured the bag and we secured a pasty Good evening, we are home and we've just got the kitchen done, cleaned, ready for guests to arrive in 35 minutes. This is my current state, so amigos, when you watch this vlog, if I know Liz will, <laughs> if you watch this vlog, this is how I looked. Here's my outfit of the evening, by the way, if any of you are wondering. I can't remember where this dress is from. I got it a while ago off of ASOS, but I don't remember the name of the brand. I think it's glamorous, actually. But I love it. It's got strawberries on it. Love it. But yeah, everyone's here. We managed to get everything done, so we're going to have a lovely evening now. And I'll speak to you guys in the morning. We're going to Ikea tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Tim. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay also. Good. It's Saturday and last night was really lovely. We had our friends around for a barbecue. Um, it was very stressful. Everything tasted like lighter fluid. <laughs> We definitely shouldn't have. We were fine to host, we just shouldn't have done a barbecue so last minute. That was yeah. just, just made no yeah, sense. Was... And it wouldn't light, so we chucked on a load of lighter fluid. And then everything just ended up tasting like lighter fluid, which was fun. But we tried our best. At least it wasn't for people who we I was making an impression on. Yeah, no, our friends don't care. And now, today, we are heading to Ikea because we need to get Tim a desk chair. Because right now, he's on one of my leopard print chairs and... 
they are completely ruined because they've been they're like special occasion dining chairs and they have just been completely worn off i may actually have to chuck them because they're just they're just messed up it's horrible we're gonna go to ikea we're gonna take you with us we're gonna go get some meatballs we need to do a big food shop um and get us ready for another week another week of life you know also look how cool these are you know benefit sent me that like brow tattoo thing they sent me some little temporary tattoos and it's my name isn't that cute i am itching to get a tattoo i'm gonna message g and see if she's got any appointments soon because oh god <laughs> falling um because i'm absolutely desperate for a tattoo anyway should we go to ikea Let's go. We've arrived at the big, the big blue. Um, and there's a man who is loading his car in the middle of the road in the car park. So no one can get in, no one can get past. And, no, and this woman's trying to get out of her car. The window's open, hence why I'm whispering. The woman's trying to get out of her car. And she can't, just, just don't be that person. Be considerate of others. Don't be rude. We're queuing for the roller coaster. The IKEA coaster. Yeah. So Tim's ordered a really ugly chair. I've got a few things. A couple of storagey things. We can't get meatballs because the restaurant you have to book and the next one's not for like an hour and a half. More than and we're not gonna be here for an hour and a half. It's two and a half hours. Do you want a toy? No, meatballs. Oh I want a toy. Look at him. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's so cute. He did it. And it was all worth it for this. <laughs> Most phallic hot dog. I think we actually bought more food than furniture. <laughs> we didn't even get what we came for, which was Tim's desk chair. Love frankfurters. Mm. I'm actually kind of glad we didn't get to in the restaurant because now we've got hot dogs and meatballs when i used to come to ikea i used to get both and we're making the meatballs for dinner tonight yes we got the stuff and liz told us to get these we did <laughs> we had to you mean mm -hmm. here's the ikea haul that no one asked for two of these floating shelves that i want to put above my desk so that i can put some pictures up there been meaning to get those for a while we got ourselves a drying rack this one is great but can't put stuff on it, so you need to, we needed, you know what I mean? We need the two levels. Biscuits, more biscuits. Two little cupboard shelves, similar to this. You know, these like two layered things. Got two of them. Swedish fish, because they're delicious. We got some lingonberry jam, some of the meatball sauce and the meatballs and the mash, so that Tim and I can have the meatballs for dinner instead of as a post shopping treat. Is that everything we got? Uh, I think so. And then a couple of candles. We got a peach one and an apple candle. And that is our Ikea haul. And now, the moment I've been waiting for for six weeks. So. Tim's going to download the David Attenborough mm. interactive VR game where you sit in a room with David Attenborough and he talks about things. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Maintain your expectations. It's an old VR game. It's from a few years ago, so it might just be a nice casual chat. I'll and take we're, it. We're very spoiled these days with the quality of the feedback. It's going to be the best moment of my life. It will be better than nothing. So I got this. I've been meaning to get one for the bath. So I can now put all of my beverages here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I don't like how he just pops up. <laughs> don't be, don't, okay. oh. don't fly at me. It won't. The closest I'll ever get to sitting with my idol. Tim's gonna have a go now. He's gonna do the one that I'm most excited to do, but I'm scared to do. So I'm gonna get Tim to do it and then I'll do it myself. Oh, wow. Pick it up. You have to get the white dot to go in the circles. He's gonna look at it. See if you could find two floating bones. Oh, I love that. Is it huge? It's 
time bigger. Oh my yeah, it feels really big now. But when covered in flesh, the blue whale can weigh a massive 175. Wow. Oh man. That's so trippy. Oh no. It's right and left below a coming to all of it. Oh god. Does it feel really close? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh my god. At home, Ikea meatballs. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, it is Sunday now. I filmed the like clip at the beginning this morning and I realised I should have just filmed an outro at the same time, but I didn't. So this morning I just went to the gym. Um, I've just finished editing the vlog, so as always I'm going to end this here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm feeling semi-refreshed. I definitely think I've still got a little bit of catching up to do with the old relaxation. I ate so much good food so much good food this week but i hope you enjoyed coming along with us hope you enjoyed cornwall i have a kind of unsure plan for next week um so we will see what i end up getting up to next week remember the mugs are linked down below if you'd like to pick up your own um mug of positivity i was literally just drinking out of mine just then thank you for all the love and the support as always i hope you have the best day and i will see you guys on tuesday